Mexican black king snake clutch. Remember the planet clutch? Well, the one egg that separated from the others we drew as Pluto, and we were going to leave it up to the snake gods to decide whether or not Pluto is a planet or not. If the egg hatches, it'll be a planet. If it does not hatch, Pluto is not a planet. Let's take a look. Here's an update on the clutch. Mexican black kings, and not, nothing's, uh -oh. nothing's hatched yet, but Oh no, this isn't looking good for Pluto. I, so, does that just mean Pluto's not as good as the other planets? Maybe, I don't know. I mean, it still looks good. Looks it might still hatch. So we'll see, I just treated it with some Lotrimin powder because that cuts down on the mold growth. So Jupiter's kind of in the same boat, but not quite as bad. Yeah, so okay, Pluto, come on, we're rooting for you. Us 90s kids were all taught that you were a planet. I believe not in you. Not a stupid dwarf planet. You can hatch. even more stuff available on our website. Do you need reptile food? Decor? Basking bulbs? UVB bulbs? Heat panels? Vitamins or supplements? Or any other reptile supplies? SnakeDiscoveryStore.com is your all-in-one shop. We have some of the best online prices around, and you get free shipping for orders over $100. Our enthusiastic staff handpicks each order, packs it with recycled materials, seals it with love, and sends it on its way. Plus, we usually throw on a free sticker with each order. Jerry, what are you doing? You're not allowed to do calcium on the clock. Get back to work. We also have tons of Snake Discovery merch like logo shirts, drama queen shirts, hoodies, noodle fam shirts, skull caps and baseball caps, pride shirts, drawstring backpacks, Snake Discovery beanies, premium hoodies, and all sorts of other stuff. Let's see what else I can find. Just go to snakediscoverystore.com to get what you need today. And your support actually helps us care for the animals in Adoption Island, so you are helping us save reptiles at the same time. Now let's get back to the video. Looks like Allie's gonna go shopping in the meantime. I think so. All right, so we're putting this clutch away, which we just filmed, but we never went through the entire incubator, so oh, maybe no. there's something else? Maybe, we're still going through our daily check of babies. Uh, oh, is that a... Do we, we have something? Have... Oh my gosh, yes, they are definitely pipping. Mexican black kings are finally pipping. This is the clutch that's going to determine whether Pluto is a planet or oh. not. I was starting to get a little. Oh, look at the little dude. Oh, there's a baby there. You're there's coming. There's another one there. Wow, you guys are out? Okay, so oh. you pipped a while ago? Yeah, we have to cut then. One, that one's two, out. One, two, three. So Earth hasn't. <laughs> Earth, Earth is has the only one that Really, pipped. Earth, you're slacking. You're the only planet other than Pluto that hasn't pipped. But we are going to then, I guess, cut the Earth egg and the Pluto See if Pluto is a planet? I believe in you, Pluto. Mexican black kings. So, what's funny is I'm very excited. Oh, I just saw one tongue flick through the egg. Oh my gosh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Look at this one. Oh, you can see a little snoot. Oh, he's tongue flicking. Poke, poke, poke. Can you tongue flick again on camera? That was really cute. Oh, you're oh. tongue flicking. <laughs> Hello, are you hatching right before our eyes? You totally are. Oh my gosh. We've got two cute All right. babies. Find one of these babies. Pull this one out. Oh my gosh. Okay. I want to see if this is like pure black or if this is like the bluish black that we. Come here. Okay, look. so there is some pattern on There's the side. Big, beautiful yeah, they babies. Are. Wow, you just hatched. Yeah, you are a big baby for having just hatched. I guess, I mean. We're used to hog noses. Yeah, we are used to hog <laughs> noses. You are so pretty. Yeah, do you even have like chin marks? Sometimes they kind of look Florida kingy when they first hatch because yeah, they have a little see bit of little pattern. Yeah, pattern on oh, their yeah, side. A little white under his chin. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so yeah, this is the still the Mexican black king snake. Wow, you are so pretty. Okay, that's one of three babies that we know are out, oh. and you're rattling your oh. tail. You're so scary. Here's another nose. Flick. Oh, they are like ready to go. Oh, we're flicking our tongue right here, and we've got. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. You're so that must be your either tongue. this one or this one. Or yeah, this? it looks like sad. Oh, he's already trying to musk on you. Oh, thank you for musking already. I appreciate <laughs> that. Is there another baby down here? Come here. Come here. Come on, why are you under the whole... Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh, there's both of them. Okay, here's one baby. Oh, come here. <laughs> These babies come are here. like, what is going yeah, on? Sorry, sorry. Okay, so we've got two out. Come here, baby number three. I want to make sure you're healthy. <gasps> you look beautiful and perfect. Wow, we've got three out already. Okay, so we have one, two, three more that have pipped. Oh, four more that have pipped. This baby's in oh, here yeah. and everything. We're almost ready to come out. And they're so alert, having not hatched yet. Like, heads are out, tongue flicking. So we have two eggs that we have to cut still. So let's do that next. <laughs> they're so cute. Yeah, they are. We've been putting off filming this cutting because these two are like communicating to each mm -hmm. other with their tongue flicks. They seem actually interested in one another, which 
is really cute. We had to put these guys over here. Oh yeah, they're they in were jail. Be little demons. Helpers. So. <laughs> oh my gosh! Look at them flicking their tongues. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and cut these last two eggs. You are so. You gonna start with Pluto cute. or Earth? Let's start with Earth, and then we'll save Pluto for last to determine it finally. Okay. Oh, these are a lot thicker shells than uh, than hog noses. Don't cut yourself, please. Yeah, I'll try not to. Oh man, these are really thick shells. All right, I think that should work. Earth, are you a healthy, viable baby? Three, two, one. It's all black. I would say so. <laughs> I can't see anything. I can't either. I'm not even going to be able to do a poke test because there's too much I black in there. I assume they'll be healthy. Though. I would think so too. Okay, well, there you go. Now you have an opening. So that right. brings us to Pluto egg. It looks good. It does. It deformed it, a little bit. A but... little, and it molded a little. So if it hatches, might have a kink. Sometimes that happens with moldy eggs, but you know what? Let's find out. First, we have to determine oh, is the is good. that is a good color. Okay, that's a good. Oh my gosh! And it just sprayed everywhere. Slowly, carefully cut an opening at the top of this egg. Right through the mold. Yeah, right through the mold. All right, that's done. Three, two, one. Oh, oh. What is going on in there? I can't I see anything. Can't, I I don't know yeah, what I'm looking at. There you go. Okay, we're gonna open up a little Ooh, bit. Oh, weird. What in the world Ooh, is going on I in there? I see what looks like maybe a partial baby inside. All right, this one we're gonna let sit, I think, for a couple of days. It's still a mystery, but I don't have high hopes. It's a very tiny Mexican black king snake if it is a fully developed one. So we're gonna come back tomorrow. It has been two days, and it looks like all of the babies that are going to come out are out. I'm really curious about that Pluto egg, though. I don't have high hopes for it, unfortunately, but... Oh, well, it moved. Oh, I, oh it's empty! I was gonna say, that looks empty to me. Oh my gosh, it hatched! Which one of you is Pluto? Oh, this too! Oh, wait, wait, I can't say anything about the determination of if Pluto is, is real or not, or a planet or not. Because the baby has to be healthy, of course. Yeah. So where are you? Right, let's get rid of these eggs first. Okay. Oh my okay, gosh. How many? Do we have two, four, six, eight, nine eggs? Yep, nine eggs. So how many babies do we have? One, two. Oh, you have extra spots. You look a little yeah, different. That's, that's like a lot of pattern mm, on that one. That might be Pluto. We're gonna find out. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There they all are. Okay. So the one thing I'm noticing is all of them look dusty. Oh, because they're, they're in shed, they're except in... for that one, oh, for who hatched one. later, is oh, my guess. I bet Pluto took, so I mean, I we did that... already know Pluto was going to take its time. Yep. I bet this is Pluto. Yeah, Do you have any kinks? Pluto. No, no kinks at all. Just hatched a little bit yeah, later than the others. Just a little others. bit different. Oh kind of like God. it's a dwarf planet. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh my gosh. So there we go, everybody. Pluto is a planet. This clutch of Mexican black kings was the determining clutch on whether Pluto it was a planet like what we were told in school or just a dwarf planet like what all the new Gen Zers are being taught. Proof is right here. It hatched. It's beautiful. Looks great. I'm still going to go with the scientists. I'm not. I'm going to base it off of the snake fate. Pluto is a planet according to Mexican black king snakes. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. They all look great. Yeah, they do. Wow. Look at all these babies. Oh my gosh. There's no kinks or anything. They are nice and robust. Big babies. You're right. They're already going into shed. A lot of colubrids wait about a week until they go into shed, like bull snakes and rat snakes. And hognose snakes shed the first day they hatch, like the shed comes off. But it looks like MBKs go into shed on like day two. So that's yeah. kind of interesting how they're all a little bit different. But look at these babies. How many can I hold all nine, you think? What is the world record of holding Mexican black king snakes, you think? I mean, you might have it here. Might have it. We're setting it today. Got Guinness. Yeah, right? Eight. Eight. Sit in my hand. There we go, nine world record of nine how many babies. Mexican black king snakes are held in hands at once. Prove us wrong. If it's not the world record, show us otherwise. But until then, I think we have the record of how many MBKs are held at one time. It's so dumb, but I love it. This is happiness in my hands right now. Oh, you can see his belly button. Fun fact, all snakes have belly buttons. Uh, his is right here. That little white mark. Yeah, even as adults, they still seem to have what looks like a belly button. It looks I like love a line. Seeing all the Facebook posts of people like, I found an imperfection in my snake and I don't know what it is. And yeah. then they show it and it's what's, a belly button. What's wrong with my snake? It has a line in the center of its belly. Yeah, yeah check nope, your snake at home, guys. Yours has a belly button too. Yep, they it, all do. Mm -hmm. Unless they're cloned.
set up, we have some hides in the back, which a fan sent us this cool new weird style of sugar pack container. They were great though. Thank, thank you so much to the fan who sent these. We are totally using them. We've got some cork. I figured something wooden just to mix it up from all of the like rocks we've been using. We've got some plants for enrichment and water dishes up front. But I am very curious as to if there is a noticeable weight difference between Pluto baby and the other babies. So we have a scale to figure it out. Okay, normal size baby. Let's weigh a couple of them to get a mean. 18, 18 grams. Wow, that's like 16, 18, somewhere around there. It's like twice the size of hog noses. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it okay. What is that in comparison? Here, give me a second. Six cents? Six pennies. Whoa, this is a wheat penny. Oh. oh here, let's not use that one then. Okay, it's still six cents. <laughs> okay, so Mexican black king snakes weigh six cents. Let's make sure that, you know, that's kind of what they all weigh. Here's another one. 16, 16. okay. So 16 to 18 probably. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Does this 16. only do even numbers? I think it does. Okay, so, so maybe they're 17. They're probably landing in that 17 range. We uh, need- we can't. No, stay in here. Ah, no, no, they're going everywhere. Watch Emily struggle. Mexican black king snakes on the rampage. Here's now, Pluto. Pluto baby is... 16. Okay, well since half of these were weighing at 16 and half were at 18, this one is probably in line with the others at 17 grams. Our scale just only does even numbers. I, I do think it's funny though that it is on the small side of the babies. It's, you know, it's healthy and chunky. It looks a little small, but it's deceiving. It's the yeah. pattern that makes it, it look it. smaller than the others, but we just weighed it. Like it weighs put, just as much as the others. You put lightning bolts on cars, it's faster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go, Pluto is a full-size planet. Well, we've already learned our lesson with this clutch above them, these hog noses up here. They were a terror to get into the rack when they were already in the bins. They kept trying to escape. So these guys are not gonna be any better. If anything, they're gonna be even more difficult Most to work likely. with. So we're just gonna put them in with the bins already in the rack. And you might notice we are putting these in separate containers. That is because king snakes are known to be cannibalistic. That's why they're called king snakes. They are the king of snakes. They eat other snakes. So we are not gonna house these together like we do hog nose snakes to get them eating. King snakes like to eat anyway it's so low you know any time of the day any day of the week so I'm not too concerned about trying to get them to eat so we're gonna keep them separate so they don't eat each other what does that say about king humans oh they eat other Did they eat humans kings Is that how they other humans kings? yeah I wonder makes hmm. you makes you wonder huh. yeah. well anyway on that note baby number one baby number two baby number three and baby number four number five baby Lucky six. Oh. oh, barrel of monkeys. Yeah. Lucky six. Lucky number seven. Eight. And Pluto baby number nine. All right. And now we push them in before they escape. In, in, in you go. Yeah. Hooray, we did it. And they didn't get out too badly. Well, we have all the babies behind us, but here are the parents. They look very similar to one another because as far as I'm aware, don't do the breeding twitch, girl. No, 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 we're not breeding okay. right now. Anyway. Usually it's the other way. Usually it, the guy's going after the girl. Yeah, weird. He's oblivious weird. looking for food. Yeah, so. and she's in shed. She shouldn't be thinking of this at all. You already laid two clutches. She's like a chocolatey brown here right now yeah, with shed. Technically, Mexican black king snakes aren't black. They are a dark chocolate brown. And you can tell if you look at them close enough, but from a quick glance, they look jet black which is how they got the name Mexican black king snake. But if you want to be technical, it's really the Mexican chocolate brown king snake. <laughs> the Mex Mexican brown snake. The Mexican brown snake, yeah. But yeah, these are really good pets actually. They're totally an underrated species. I'm pretty sure we have them in our top five beginner snakes video mm -hmm. because we love them so much. They're great eaters. They are beautiful. They're pretty readily available. There was a weird spike in demand yeah. and price like two, three years ago. I was gonna say, and the price has come back down. It's come them, back so. down since COVID, yes. They're a reasonable price again. And finally, this is as big as they get. They only get about three feet. They yeah. are a smaller species of king snake. So they only need honestly a 40 gallon tank to be comfortable in for their yep. entire life. So if you are looking for a unique snake to have as your first or even your second or third or 20th snake, if you don't have one yet, definitely consider Mexican black king snakes. They are honestly a wonderful, perfect pet 
type snake. We will be trying to get these guys to eat, which I'm sure will happen relatively yeah. soon because they're king snakes. You could probably give it to them now. And they'd eat they'd probably eat. Both of these guys tried to eat us when yeah. we pulled them out of their enclosure. That's the only downside is they really like food. Yeah. So you just have to get them out of food mode before taking and them out. And you can just work with them. Oh yeah, they get much better with work. Yeah. But after they're eating consistently, we are going to go through our wait list and find them homes through there. If we have any leftover after going through the wait list, we will post them on Patreon so Patreon backers will be able to get those first dibs on them. There you go. Our first clutch of Mexican black king snakes. Well, Mexican chocolate brown king snakes yeah. hatched here at Snake Discovery year. in 2024. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for everything and we will see you next time. How many more of these clutches do we have? Ooh, two. I think two there's more? two more. Okay, well, stay tuned for those.